she, it wasn't that long ago that she was campaigning for the leader uh, of her party uh, at the time to be Prime Minister, someone who backed the Russians against this Prime Minister, who galvanised as Foreign Secretary the international response to the appalling attacks on, on the streets of Salisbury. Mr. Speaker, him and me is that I stood up to my former party leadership when they got it wrong on this issue. It is pathetic that he can't do the same, given the gravity of the situation that this country currently faces. He's had 18 months from a publication that his own Prime Minister tried to block. We've had no action on golden visas, no powers to sanction corrupt officials. Up to half of all the money that is laundered out of Russia comes through the United Kingdom. And in three years since the Salisbury attacks, it is still not illegal to be a foreign agent in this country. Meanwhile, we have seen the oligarchs and kleptocrats that have profited from the Putin regime funneling money to the Conservative Party shakes his, shakes his head £5 million since David Cameron became leader. His own shadow, his own minister, the Minister for Asia, has had multiple donations from a former Russian arms dealer who described himself as untouchable because of his links to the Kremlin. Well, if he wants to clear this up, clear it up once and for all. Implement those recommendations from the Russia report. Defend the security, the democracy and integrity of this country. Stop the gross negligence and give us a date by which all 23 recommendations will be implemented in full. Yeah. Can, I, can I just tidy up that if we are going to make allegations, they have to be on a substantive motion and they must be done in the correct manner. Right. Things are getting heated. Let's just calm it down. Can the Secretary, Foreign Secretary please answer? In relation to uh, a, a re registration of agents, all she's done is picked up on what the, the action the Home Secretary has already announced and proposed and, and called for it. It's a, a classic uh, 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 action from the, the, the shadow foreign ministers. She's talking over because she doesn't like response. The reality is she did campaign for the former leader of the Labour Party to be Prime Minister, who was a man who, uh, in fact, backed Russia at the time where this Prime Minister, as Foreign Secretary, galvanised the international community in unprecedented uh, diplomatic reaction to President Putin. We will continue standing up for the British national interest. Uh, she will make her political points.